Welcome back to the rudder and welcome aboard Antoinette. Today I'm going to be moving the captain's chair. Well, moving it so it can not only go backwards and forwards, but can also rotate. Been in a bit of a weird position. I'm sitting on the floor. I was starting to work on the captain's chair and what I want to do is make it so it can not only slide backwards and forwards to the wheel but also rotate in to the dinette which is just in front of me here. So I bought this new piece of kit uh, which I can share the link below but it can slide backwards and forwards but also rotate so we will be able to spin, spin the chair and join the dinette. Uh, so when we've got a few people aboard the captain's chair can become another chair to uh, join the action and, and, and be with our guests. So I'm starting to work on this and like all sort of boat jobs, it's got a little bit bigger than first thought. So let's have an investigate what I found and, and how to move forward. So at first it looks super easy, just go in and undo these nuts here. But as you do that, they just kept on spinning and spinning. And what I realised is that there's going to be a screw under there. So next off, we've got the fridge here. So we've got to take out all the screws and remove the fridge. It's super easy to remove the fridge. And this is the first time I've ever done this. So we can have a quick peek inside. There's the power cable to the fridge. We don't have much play with that. But we also have our water tank under there and a few other things. So a nice little access port as well. All right, so above us, whoop, so above here, Let's see if my gimbal will work. We should have the screws I need. There they are. So I need to get a screwdriver in there, wrench on the top and take those nuts off. Okay, so the seat is out. Uh, so that's what your Mary Fisher looks like without a captain's seat. And here's, here's the seat here. So here we have the bottom of the seat. So we just remove those screws and fit the new one in. So there we have it installed. Um, it's a bit hard to show it sliding up and down with only one hand. Uh, but yeah, it's the bottom of the seat. So let's put it all back together and see how it goes. All right, so when I find it, So it slides pretty easily. Oh. And can turn around. Pretty cool. All right, so we'll have to have a look at that uh, on the water. So just to finish up, I thought I'd get Brooke in just to demonstrate the new swiveling chair, the captain's chair. So if of Perfect those of position for me to drive, actually, those of smaller stature, it really does give you some easy access to the wheel, and just push it back to the. So that would be Damien's position. Very uncomfortable for me, actually. Far too far out. And now for some swiveling. Uh -oh. To join the party? <laughs> Hang on. I'm this got too far back. <laughs> yeah, okay, ready? So, some. Um, to join the party? The half party. I don't even know why you'd angle this way. But anyway. And then, here. Yeah. So, this is actually quite a relaxing position. Um, so you've got enough people sitting in the cabin and then obviously got a fifth seat here. An Perfect. extra seat. Okay. Thank you very much, Brooke, for demonstrating the new swiveling captain's chair. All right, let's have a look at it from the driving position. So here I am in the back driving position. And one of the things, this is at my eye level, it's actually a lot higher than um, the previous seat. Well, not a lot, but just a little bit. 
and you've really, you can actually come too far forward now, but I, previously I couldn't drive with my, with my hand on the wheel like that, just so close. And look, my knees are already smashing in there. So if you're a little bit shorter, this might be a perfect option. When we go back, so my hands can't, can barely touch now. And I'll just show you the spinning motion. So here I am here and spinning around to the dining room. All right, so that looks pretty good. Well, you can tell, even though it's the middle of winter, I got a bit warm doing that and took my jacket off. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little quick one, uh, but something that I'm really going to enjoy and we'll have a look at it next time we're out on the water. Hope to see you out on the water too. Um, I see all those people in the UK and the US having a lovely time in their summer. Um, but yeah, enjoy yourself out in the water. If you have any questions, please chuck them in the comments down below and uh, we'll see you again on the rudder soon.